G'day Roosters, today I'm going to show you a cheats way of model space and paper space setup. But this cheats method is a far superior way of working. It'll make you work faster and better in AutoCAD drafting. So in AutoCAD typically you have a thing called model space and which is here and this tab here which is paper space. Now you can create multiple ones of those, you can have many paper spaces but only one model space. Now the purpose of model space paper space is the model is drawn in model space but the paper or how you present it or print it out to whatever sheet size you're using is in the paper space. So typically in AutoCAD in model space you draw one to one. Now I'll give an example of that. This floor plan of a house which is quite a large house just as just one level we have this island bench in the kitchen. If I measure the distance across that island bench, see it's 1,000, so one meter wide. That's about right for a good size island bench. So this is drawn one to one, this plan. Now over here, we've got elevations of uh, timber wall bracing details. And that's what this plan is. It's a wall bracing plan. So if I measure this bottom plate here, you can see that's 45 millimeters, which is typical for a bottom plate of a stud framing to be 45 millimeters thick. So that's all drawn to one to one. But the text is scaled up to whatever scale you're doing. So in this example, we've got one to 20 as the scale here is how we want to present it at the end. So the text is 50 mil high. Now if you divide 50 by 2.5, you get, oh sorry, if you divide 50 by 20, you get 2.5. So that's the text height that I'm using for annotation in this drawing. Now if we go over here to this one, that's 187.5. So if you divide that by what scale are we using on this one, which is 1 to 75, you get 2.5 high mil text. So that's the, the model space. Now you could have the title scaled up here and print it out from here, but that's not a great way to work because batch plotting is a lot harder that way. It's quicker to have it in paper space. So let's set up our sheet over here. First of all, we'll call it a name. So SO6 dash wall bracing plan. I just clicked on that layout tab there and that edited that. I'll, I'll delete this tab because I don't really need that extra one. That's good to fill out too because that actually comes out in the file name when you print it as a PDF. So now I need a title block. Now this was a big uh, house. So it didn't fit on an A3 sheet like normal houses do, so I needed a bigger one, an A1. Now if you go to blocks.draftsperson.net, they have a lot of good title blocks there, and you can use those as a basis of your title blocks. So I just type in A1 title blocks there, and I'll use this one here, this metric one, and I don't need the A3 this time, so download that, and I'll just drop that into my project folder and then I'm back in AutoCAD now and I'm going to use the insert command so just I I'm going to browse to that folder and get that title block title block a1 borderless it was we'll put it at zero zero that's good practice um, it is drawn in millimeters it has been in this title block before as a test so that's it now what you see here is that that's an a3 so the page setup's not right. So just type in page setup and see how that's A3? Well, let's create a new one called A1 PDF. So we'll just change it to ISO A1 full bleed landscape. Okay, and that should be correct. Yep, and just a sensibility check, let's measure the distance across the top of this title block. That's 793 millimeters. So that's with inside the cut sheet size of an A1. So we know that's inserted correctly. Now here's my cheats way of setting up model space and paper space. Starts with drawing a rectangle in the view area that you want your detail to show up in or plan. So my view area is from the top of this title block down to here, all of that space. Now you grab that rectangle and then Control X, cut that and paste it into our model space. Now that's one to one at an A1 sheet. And we're one to 75, so simple. Scale that by 75. That's the border that we can draw within 
that will fit on that sheet. So just move that to uh, to where you want your view to. So I'm going to present that sheet, that plan in the left hand side of that sheet. Now I've got all this space over here. It's free. So if I draw a line down the guts there and just trim that off, that's like a boundary. I draw within that box, I'm okay. Now I've got that free space over here. Well here is a really cunning plan. We're going to copy that down to here and then scale this. Now that was one to 75 and we want this other one at one to 20 because we can put these details on this sheet here. So scale all of those things, 20 divided by 75. That's one to 20 now, that's one to 75. Now move those details into here. Yep, that's good. Now we've got to place them on the sheet. But before we do that, we'll just move these objects onto a non-printable layer because they're only for reference only. So Def Points is my favorite non-printable layer because it's a system layer. It's a special layer. Everybody knows Def Points is non-printable. So it works universally. Back in our sheet, we have to now create a command called mView, which is going to make the viewport. So type in mView and just click that top corner again and then down here. Now here's the cunning thing. Click in the paper space and do zoom and click shift right click endpoint, shift right click endpoint this end. So it zooms in on that box exactly. So hit paper space to exit that and click on that object. Now in our properties we can see that it says that the custom scale here is 0 0.0133. So if I get the calculator app and type 1 divided by 75, 0 0.133, which is exactly right. That's correct. So that you don't have to do a calculation there. It's just done it by clicking. The other thing I always do too is lock this viewport so you don't accidentally bump the scale once it's set up and put that viewport on the non-printable layer. Now we have the 1 to 75 set up, but now we need the 1 to 20 view. So just do another view and do the whole space again. And then do the, exactly the same thing. Zoom, end point, so zoom window from end to end. And then paper space, get out of that. And you can see this is 1 to 20. It's exactly right. So let's go def points on that and lock that layer too. Now that drawing is set up now to print those views at that scale. Now what I love about this system is once you've set it up, it's really robust and you can handle a lot of changes. So if we go back to model space now, and if you needed to make changes, say if you had, uh, had to have more notes, well if you added notes, 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 notes like that, well you know that these ones here won't be working properly. They'll be probably overlapping with the stuff that's in in this view. Like that, see? So that's no good. So those boundaries there tell you, if you, as long as you draw within those that frame there, you've got that space. Now the other thing is if, if you wanted to creep in here, you could. You could adjust that. It's the same down here. What we also notice when you're drawing is that when you pick up someone else's work, they might have say an object here and an object there and an object there and you go which one of these things and just imagine that that wasn't there which one of these things is on the sheet because they look very similar to that thing there so with with this method because you've got a box around it that's your boundary now you could label it with text too i could have up here so 6 1 to 20 and that gives you reference now what I do too is if I copy stuff out like this for, and I need to mess around with it, is I, I draw a line through it like that. So that people know that if they come to this drawing, they know that that's on the sheet, that isn't. That's for reference or a backup or something. So there's my cheats way of model space, paper space. This system works for small jobs up to massive jobs. I've done projects with this method with up to 700 drawing sheets and multiple drafters on it and it works really, really well.